Hi, hello, this is Anup here and in this video, we are going to learn how to create group policy to enroll Windows 10 devices into Intune automatically, right? So at the end of this video, probably you would be able to see the devices. You can see the devices as hybrid as already join and Microsoft Intune enrolled. What is hybrid as you ready join in simple words it is on so this this device is on-prem domain joint plus as you ready registered so you can see the devices or you can manage the devices from both the worlds active directory on-prem active directory as well as azure active directory so we can see these devices in Azure Active Directory once that is a hybrid Azure AD join and then managed by Intune. So this is what we are going to, I'm going to show you today or we are going to learn today. Okay, so let's get into the Microsoft documentation first and check the prerequisites or requirements, right? AD joint PC running 17.09 or later, right? MDM service should be enabled. Um, Intune license should be there and uh, appropriate licenses should be there. Right? And um, um, Azure AD joined, it should be hybrid Azure AD joined, etc. Right? Auto enrollment should be configured. So all those, all these things you need to be taken, it, it should be taken care, right? If I go to Azure Active Directory, you can see over here, if I can find that somewhere, mobility. And if I go over here in tune, you can see MDM user scope is all. And um, I have enabled this auto enrollment right so that is fine to use the group policy for intune enrollment right so now let's see now let's see how to launch or create a group policy right go to domain controller or some other server or device where these features are enabled and go to group policy management all right launch it and this is this is your group policy management console and you can see over here mgmt so memcm that is my domain and over here you can see group policy objects from this place you can create a group policy object a new group policy right so I'm going to say do policy in tune now click OK. Now you need to remember that before doing this step, make sure you have installed Windows 10 ADMX latest Windows 10 ADMX into this right into this domain controller. OK, so once that is done, and if you create a group policy object now let's right click on that group policy object called intune which we created now and click on edit let's see i'm going to policies and going to administrative templates so that is why I mentioned we need to install Windows 10 ADMX to get this group policy, MDM enrollment or into an enrollment group policy. Now go to systems, Windows components, and then click on MDM. So when, when you click on MDM, you will see like two policies over there, disable MDM enrollment. That is not what we need and enable automatic MDM enrollment using default Azure AD credentials, right? So this is what we need and this is what we have to configure. So 
at the moment the default value is not configured and now we need to enable it and you can see select credential type to use you have two options over here user credentials device credentials device credentials are the one normally i use okay but uh, for this you need to have the latest version of windows 10 okay and there is a there's a note somewhere in the documentation i think uh, microsoft documentation which explains what is the exact difference between user type and device type over there right if i can click on this and go down somewhere here you can see yeah user type user credentials and device credentials device credentials is a new option that will only have an effect on client that have installed windows 10 1903 or later okay and it is a there is an interesting note device credential is not supported for enrollment type when you have SCM agent on your device but i have tested a windows 10 device and it works with SCM or configuration manager and in tune okay uh, let's go back to domain controller and complete the group policy thing first so i'm going to select device credentials but um you are free to test with user credentials if you if you want that to be okay so now we have created the group policy we need to go back to group policy management console and uh, you need to link this group policy to a particular ou as you can see you there is no ou details or ous or containers my computer my uh, those those kind of ous are not available in this at the moment only the wvd ou is available now i want to create a new ou i want to create a new ou and uh, probably i can create it from active directory users and computers right click on this right side panel i don't know what is this called but on the right side um, you can right click on this and you can see organization unit and intune right let's create one for intune okay now we have created Intune. Let's go back to Group Policy Management Console, and probably you would be able to see this after refresh. Okay, Intune is here now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the Intune Group Policy to the Intune OU, or link that Group Policy to the link. Um, sorry, uh, Group Policy link that group policy uh, to intune ou now how we can do that right click and um, let me show it again right click and link an existing group policy now this is our group policy which we created for mdm auto enrollment now let's click ok that this this is assigned to that particular group policy so particular OU the group Intune group policy is assigned to that particular OU Intune OU now all the devices uh, which are part of Intune OU will automatically get that group policy and all those devices will get automatically enrolled if you are if you have all the prerequisites in place okay now let's go back to windows 10 device and check and if i can go up uh, you can see azure ad joined yes domain joined yes that is good then right 
and now you can check rsop or something right i just type rsop from here command prompt right rsop to check whether the glue policy is up late or not on this particular device so as so i can see administrative templates windows components mdm enable automatic to policy this is enabled device credentials this is what we have enabled from the group policy so that got enabled now you can check um in from the settings page i think if you go to the settings page and if you go to access accounts right then access work or school you can see a um, connection over here and in the connection if you click on in info you can see all these policies are coming from intune right management server name etc etc sync uh, was failed that's fine uh, but the intune enrollment happened okay so that that was a quick video about intune automatic intune enrollment for azure ad hybrid azure ad joint devices through group policies thank you for watching and um, see you next time bye bye